All right, welcome everyone to some dungeon crawl stone soup. Uh, so, gotta be oh, turn the staves off. I've actually hit the min delay for that. But uh, gotta be honest with you guys, I fucked up, and uh, turns out that I completely forgot that I not only have a presentation due next week on Wednesday, but also a three thousand word essay. So, yeah, I've kind of been fucking doing nothing for the last couple of days. I really need to get working on that, so you might hear a little bit less uh, energy from your boy, unfortunately, but this character is high impact as a character, so I'm pretty happy with that. We lost, uh, our last video ended with us getting the larger tank of order with um, all this crazy shit, like we picked up a ton of stuff uh, from various places, I don't even know where the hell I found this thing. What did I find it from? It doesn't even say. No, I found it in a labyrinth. There we go. Uh, some pretty decent shit that we got. We got a ton of um, slaying. We got the Cloak of Starlight from the first video. We got uh, the Chainmail, the Longbow Flaming. Basically, like, everything we'd ever want and need. Um, and we're just going through shawls now. We'll probably go through vaults in the next video. Or in this video, possibly. Uh, finishing it, and then, uh, you know, we'll see how we go for the third, the, the third room. I don't really have a, holy fucking shit, I hate this place so much. I hate shoals with a passion, just by the way. I really hate shoals. Why did they add this to the game? I don't understand. I mean, granted, it's been here for the entirety of the game, but, you know, why did they have to break, make shoals? Actually, you, you know, I think that shoals was not, I don't, I'm not entirely convinced that Shoals was in the original game. I think it was added at some point. I don't know, though. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I have no idea. <coughs> I've never played Dungeon Crawl, the original one. Actually, that's a lie. I think I have played it once, but uh, not. It was on my mobile um, for some reason. I don't know. It's on my phone. I've actually tried to play Dungeon Crawl on the phone. Um, it's a very vastly inferior way to play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup because you can't see shit and there's no tiles and you're basically just like, <laughs> you're basically just sitting there with uh, half a keyboard and half a screen and uh, everything's in ASCII. And it's very hard to understand what the hell you're doing with your life. I have actually used, uh, I've actually spectated people on my phone though. Um, from like crawl.crazyduck.org and uh, CPO, which is the server I'm on right now, Project 357, and it's actually not bad. It's uh, it's pretty fun. Speaking of mobile, like dungeon crawl. So if you if you're bored uh, and you're on your phone for some reason, I guess you can go watch people play dungeon crawl stone soup on your phone. I don't know why you would though, because it's kind of annoying. But I don't know. It's it's interesting enough that you got to remember this is back in I think 0.14. <coughs> Excuse me, man, my throat sucks. One sec. Oh, that was good. <clears throat> I actually almost got... Nope. <clears throat> Why do I do this to myself? I don't... Like, my throat was fine ten seconds ago. Start recording. Instantly broken. <clears throat> don't know what's wrong with me. <clears throat> Should I take a drink of water? I don't even know that fixes it. Um, but yeah, like... Back in 0.14, I actually watched the game religiously uh i think in <clears throat> oh my god for fuck's sake get don't mesmerize me when i'm a pig don't look at me in my in my darkest hours come on when i'm just like an actual pig a literal pig don't do that to me come on <laughs> uh yeah like back in the day i i talked about well re very recently more uh to get more i guess structure more recently I did that video about like how to gain, I guess, uh, like information from places, like looking from morgue, spectating high skill players. Back then, there was no demise AU, uh, or you know whatever. Like, I think the best we had for in terms of skilled players was uh, bounty hunter Sax, and I still think I, th I still think that bounty hunter is like you know, what he did for the community was really good, and it opened the way for people like me to uh, join the community on YouTube. But back then, there was no such thing as, you know, uh, YouTube, YouTuber is playing Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. It really wasn't a thing. So, you know, what you would do is you'd go on CAO or CPO, whatever the hell you wanted to do. 
I think it was CAO back in the day, but... Oh, sorry. See, yeah, we used to use the American census because the Australian ones didn't exist back then. Um, but what you would do is you would just pretty much sit there and be like, hey, I'll just go watch, uh, I don't know, whoever's good right now. Maybe Purple Red's on. Um, no, actually, I don't think it's Purple Red. I think it was someone else. Safer. That's the, that's the one. Or maybe, oh, I don't know. Uh, maybe Elliptic is on for some reason. He's rarely on, but, you know, sometimes he's on. Um, I don't remember exactly who I watched that was, like, really good. But I used to watch one of them um, pretty religiously. It was, it was kind of fun. Um, yeah, that, that's like, it's kind of like one of those back in my day kind of things where you're like, man, I don't know anyone. I don't even know if like spectating is a thing anymore. Do you need to spectate people? I mean, aside from like your friends, I mean, like, does anyone really just spectate randoms anymore? Like to learn, I mean, it's kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is a thing. Maybe I just don't know. Maybe I'm just out of touch. That's actually a possibility. Alright, I'm pretty annoyed by this right now. We have to uh, just punch through these guys real quick. <clears throat> I really want to use the bow, but that's not good. That's I'm going to fear scroll here. Oh, GeForce, thank you for telling me that my drive is ready. I don't give a shit. Don't ever ask me about that again. This is uh, really fucking bad. And I accidentally quaffed my only might potion. Oh, no, I didn't. Um, it's time for me to fly by Ario Speedwagon. Here we go. Alright, I have uh, some strong regrets. Some very strong regrets. I'm going to go to Shadow Form if I can. There we go. Now we're just going to teleport away. So Shadow Form, what that does is it basically turns you invisible. Um, except I'm not invisible. It, it, it makes you ridiculously good at... Uh, at evading damage for a short period of time. So actually, I'll just pull it up. So it turns you into a swirling mass of dark shadows, you're immune to poison, draining torment, hostile enchantments, and all that good shit, and you're permanently invisible. All incoming damage is halved, and you bleed smoke on any incoming attack at all, but your damage ability and your spellcasting ability is really bad, uh, and you are drained pretty consistently. But it's a very, very powerful skill uh, as a panic button. And as you can see there, it kind of prevent. It probably prevented like a good 20, 30 damage right there. If I cast it a bit earlier, I would have just not been in any danger at all. But uh, I, didn't, I didn't recognize the threat fast enough. It is probably one of the strongest uh, panic buttons in the game in terms of defensive ones. I mean, so you know, don't underestimate it. It's really good. All right, we have uh, to do the vaults now. I guess I'm not going to do shoals because that's too dangerous for my boy. Apparently this character is not strong enough to handle shoals. I mean, it kind of makes sense. I don't have that great defense. It's pretty one-sided. Just pure armor, no shield, nothing. Like, no dodge or anything. So, you know, it kind of makes sense, but... I don't know. I'm kind of hoping that I get some dodge at least. I'm going to train a bit more dodging. I'm going to focus that. Maybe I can get something good. Alright, I don't know if I have MR. I have only a ring mail. That sucks. Magic resistance is really good in both depths and vaults. Because in vaults you can get marked and in depths you can get paralyzed a lot by various opponents. Ah, that sucks. Okay, well, we're going to have to just deal with it. We have a larger tank now at Mindalay, which is really good. It's plus seven, even if it isn't uh, branded technically. It's still good. I think I still want more strength. I probably should have trained decks, but I just kind of want more strength. Oh, I accidentally leveled Dex. Okay, I'm a bit stupid. I like how I was like, I should have leveled Dex. I, I was saying that, and then I actually leveled Dex. So, I guess that's fine. I don't know. I, we have pretty low Dex. I was hoping to get some evade from that, but I didn't get anything. So, whatever. Fair enough. Understandable. Alright, there's a red guy. Gonna walk back. Just gonna shoot a couple of times, you know. Finish off with a Vault Warden, hopefully. Thank you auto target. I'm not targeting the right guy. There's another chainmail on the ground that is uh, potentially good for us. It's our poise plus one. No thank you. Put that on the ground. Are there any other artifacts maybe? That's not how you spell artifact. Artif is good enough. Ah, uh, the scale mail, scale mail robes. Glittering turquoise ring, but I can't I can't get that because it's on Shoals 4. I guess I'll just leave it. 
That's gonna suck when I go back there in Shoals 4 and then like it's like plus 6 lay, MR double plus, RF plus, I'm like, ah, damn. But, you know, whatever, that's kind of the price you pay for uh, being safe, a safety lad. You gotta sometimes just cop it, you know what I mean? Alright, this is just suck fail. Thankfully I'm very, very fast. I can just escape at a moment's notice. I can literally just run away. The most optimal stra- oh, damn it. Oh, okay, I'm not, I'm not cornered, thank goodness. I was actually not sure if I was cornered there. Could have been bad. Oh my god, no! This is like... This is going very poorly for me. Uh, everything's so bad right now. What the hell? I have to just constantly pull back. I guess that's the centaur way, but, you know. I mean, you know, arguably, like, most characters would be okay just fighting there, but I'm a centaur. I gotta run away. It's in my nature. Like a ponyta from Pokemon. Apparently they burn anyone who rides them, except for the one that they trust, which makes no sense. That's not how fire works. Like, that's really not how fire works. Uh, fire works like this. It burns indiscriminately. Thank you very much. Um, but hey, whatever. That's It's the po it's Pokemon. I don't know the Pokemon law. Maybe there's, like, real... Maybe there's a real, like, way of explaining... Oh my god! Oh, holy shit! <laughs> Ah, oh, seeing that just it just hurts your heart a little bit, you know what I mean? Just oof. Oof, owie my fucking bones. Ow. That was painful. To see like ah oh, damn. That is just rough. Fair products. <laughs> in in day in this in this day of age, in the age. Like come on. How are you gonna give me a a broad axe like that? You know how hard it is to fucking find one of those? It's very hard. I'll tell you that much. God. It's hard enough that it sucks that I didn't get... I'm not a broad axe guy. And I probably never will be. Because I'm a two-hander, for one thing. And also, I don't use axes. Even though I could. I have 5.6 in it from some Mason Flail training that I have. I don't know why I have Mason Flail training. Probably because I started off as a Mason Flail guy. But I'm pretty sure I didn't. I actually have no idea where I got that. Where did I get... No, I never trained Paul... What the fuck? Oh. Oh, pole arms goes to... What? I have no idea where this cross training is coming from, actually. Never mind. Man, this character is the squishy guy. If I've ever seen one. Oh, wow. I am confused. I'm going to try not to waste my confusion, my curing, on, like, something completely trivial. If things got any hairier than that, though, I would have definitely cured, but I was like, eh, you know, just in case. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Oh, this guy wants a firefight. Okay, he's dead. Thank goodness. The danger is gone, guys. It's okay. You can come back out now. It's fine. You can continue watching the video. Oh, my God. No! Stop backspawning me, you fucks. I mean, arguably, yes, I am being mocked. But come on, stop. Stop your nonsense. Let me just play the video game, damn it. I'm just gonna continue fighting here because, like, being marked is okay here. I'm, like, right next to the downstairs anyway. I mean, next to the upstairs. I can just pop around a corner in, like, a second. It's all good. It seems like I'm still getting a good amount of arrows from the, uh, random enemies in here that have arrows, which is nice. Having 639 means I pretty much don't need to use the larger tang anymore, period. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. I might be wrong, though. Hmm. Now the question is, do I want this weapon to be my main one? Because I have quite a few enchant armor scrolls, uh, enchant weapon scrolls that I could use. Uh, hmm. Like, it's a good, it's a good brand. It's not the best brand, because freezing is arguably the better one. Just because it fights more stuff, does more damage. Velocity is also pretty good for a bow. Um, eh, flaming is okay. I don't know. I'm just hesitant because if I if I get a brand weapon scroll, I can just brand this weapon, then I'm fine, right? Like I'll just get more benefit out of it. I don't think there's such a thing as a bow of protection, so the worst I can get is velocity, right? I don't think you can get penetration either. You can get lightning, I think, from brand weapon being a uh, a ranged weapon. I'm pretty sure you can anyway. I might be wrong. 
but you know, whatever. Look at me fire these arrows, man. Oh, it's a bone dragon, hey. More like a boner. A boned dragon. Get it? Because he got boned? <sighs> that's funny. Uh, and, and it's even more funny because I said it was funny. That's, that's the truth. Oh, please don't make this a massive vault. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not. Okay, thank goodness. There's like a specific vault in, in vaults. It's confusing, I know. But there's a specific like predetermined vault in vaults that is like... Uh, everyone kind of knows it. Like it's the one that's like super wide corridors and then it leads to like this big ass area with a whole bunch of shit like ancient liches and stuff there's a lot of cyclopses and all that annoying stuff that gets really bad sometimes like that that vault i always skip it when i see it because it's just like ugh, i don't want to deal with this shit i'm pressing tab here because tab will just auto fire down a line um and that's good for me because i want my shots to if they miss go and hit potentially the guy behind him so the way like shots work uh, projectiles in this game work is if it misses uh, it's as if it didn't hit the tile at all like it didn't collide with the tile so you can still hit stuff from behind your uh, your main target if you want I mean you know rarely do you want that I mean not rarely but like it's often that you want to hit the front guy but you know it's still nice that these have uh, partial penetration Speaking of partial penetration, did you know that rocks used to have partial penetration? That's actually how I, wor I won my first ogre. I, I'll admit, I, I, I was playing during my greater player run, and I was struggling so bad with ogre. Um, oh, what the fuck is going on here? What is this? What is happening? How are you doing this? Jeez. Okay, that was terrible. What, what is this? Ring of Sea Invisible. No thank you. I just, I literally just had another one on me. Why do you think I would want this one? Uh, but yeah, like for a very brief amount of time, large rocks thrown by ogres were uh, penetrating and it was so fucking good because on D1, if you went ogre hunter, oh my God, I got paralyzed. Holy fucking shit, I got paralyzed. Uh, it's like the slowest heart attack of all time. God, no player agency, no dignity. Feels bad. Um, but yeah, like, back in the day, the devs, for one brilliant shining moment, decided, hey, let's, let's buff something and not nerf it. Um, and ogres went batshit crazy good for, like, a short amount of time. It was so fucking crazy how good they were. Because on D1, you could literally penetrate through, like, seven enemies at the same time. Uh, which is really insane. I mean, since then, obviously, I've learned to play ogre, and, uh, like... I don't really use throwing rocks anymore. But back in the day, holy shit, that was that was tough, man. First grade player run is always the hottest one. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously, but it is very hard to do a grade player run for the first time when you don't know what you're doing. Doing stuff like high elf, man. I think I did a high elf with a larger tank of Okawara. I think that was my first sub three, or well, at least the first one I noticed. It's really good. I don't know, I have a lot of fun memories of Crawl. Nowadays though, most of the games kind of blend in together, because they're all kind of the same. But uh, back then, every every character felt unique, every character felt different. And when you won, it was like a really big achievement, and not like an eventuality, you know what I mean? But I guess that's like kind of a, an enjoyment for the game that you can't really get anymore as me. But that's only because I've played this game so much that like a single win doesn't mean all that much. It's mostly like, oh, did you get a good win rate over a certain period of games? That's like more important to me now. Uh, but you know, whatever. The past is the past, unfortunately. It's hard to come back to something like that. Fuck, I need to kill this guy. Frederick, I don't know what you even do, to be honest. I, I'm surprised they haven't removed you, and I keep fucking that up. Oh, you have Spellforge, that's right. Okay, well. Like, I honestly forgot that, that Frederick was a dude. Like, was a, uh, a unique in this game. Like, I swear he was removed at some point. I guess he just wasn't. Oh my god, this guy's hitting me. Like a truck. Thankfully he's 10 speed, so like, he can't do shit against me. If I get serious, I can just stand outside his range, and he literally can't touch me. Because he has Iron Shot and Bolt of Coal, neither of which are full screen. Even with the Hermit, they're not full screen. I forgot what his other spell was, but it wasn't that good anyway. So, whatever. 
didn't care. Yeah, like, man, playing my first greater player on, thinking about it. I, I don't know why today, like, I feel like this series, like I said, has been nostalgia crawl. I've just been talking about stuff that makes me nostalgic. Um, yeah, DCSS was really fun back in the day. Like, I'm not saying it's not fun now, it's just like, it's different. It's a different type of fun. It's like League and Payday and stuff, and like every game you play for a long time. The fun that you get is very different from the fun you used to get. It's still fun, but uh, utility is different. Man, like... I remember the first time I won like a Centaur, for example. I was so fucking scared of winning, of playing the game. It was like so tough for me. I always felt like, oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I feel so spooked. I feel so freaked out. Now it's like, oh, Centaur anything? Oh yeah, just pick up a bow and you'll win. It's like, what the fuck? The old me on a Centaur Hunter of Okawara was like, barely making it. But when you think back, you're like, how did that ever, how was that ever hard? It's kind of weird, right? Wait, there's an upstairs here that I didn't explore? What the fuck? When? Whoa! Did I just not explore Vaults 3? Oh, I got shafted at some point, didn't I? Huh, I guess I did. I literally didn't even notice. I, I legitimately didn't notice. This is what I mean, like, I just... These games kind of blend in so much that I'm like... I'm just so used to it now. I just don't care what happens to me. It just happens. It's all good, man. Wow, this war gargoyle is really... He's really buttering my bacon today. I'm gonna drink one healing just to run away. I don't think he can do that much damage to me in one turn, but you know, it's good to be careful anyway. Alright. Oh god, this looks like a big vault. God damn it. I don't want to deal with this shit. The Tengu Reaver, man. Ow. Fucking Tengu Reavers. Why do they hurt so much? Look at that! What the fuck is that, man? Like, I hate Tengu Reaver so much. They're such shitty enemies, and then randomly they hurt you for like 65% of your hit points. There's nothing you can do about it. Except cry. Feel bad. Look, see? They're either- they do everything or they do nothing. That's the definition of a swinging opponent. This guy's Dweezy's ghost. Wielding a weapon of freezing. Vinestalk fighter of Akawara. Damn, dude. He only deals up to 35 damage per hit. That's not much, to be honest. It's really not much. I mean, anyway. Now we're on Vaults 4 again. Pretty much done with Vaults 4 already. That's pretty quick. This character's made a lot of progress. Ah, oh, Sabojo. Fuck. This is really bad for this character. I don't do any damage to you, and uh, you do a lot of damage to me. So, how about we just, you know, agree to disagree and you never come and talk to me again? Yeah? Motherfucker, this is gonna be really bad for me. Holy shit. Okay. I'm gonna have to just run. I think. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the old loop -de loop de loop. I'm gonna lead her up to this one. This staircase here. Go down this one. And then just ignore that she ever existed. What what Tengu Queen? I ask. What are you talking about? Queen of the skies? What do you mean? Are you talking about some kind of air elemental? I don't get it. See? And then and just like that, I killed I killed a unique. Without even without even having to touch him. It's that powerful. The runaway strategy, once again, proving why it is the dominant strategy in all situations. There's a lot of uh, red guys over here. That's pretty crazy. Oh shit, another nostalgia trip. Though this one is a lot less nostalgic. It's more just like, wow, that was a fad. Had frozen yogurt, like, just then. God damn, I forgot what the fuck frozen yogurt even was, and then I saw it and I was like, <gasps> It is just as mediocre as I remember. That's some funny shit. Oh, great. Now we get to the portion of the game where we just continuously stair pull and we don't get to do anything else, because that's the game. Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, the video game, the stair pulling chronicles. AKA, the depths area. Where are you even hiding on? Did you make a corner, you troll? You fuck? This guy made a corner. This guy act he dug. Bro, that's like that's just rude. Why would you dig like that? No one wants that. You know what I mean? Why? Ah, oh, it's times like this when I wish I had fucking blink, but hey, whatever, it's fine. I have to fight this three-man jelly by myself. This is possibly the worst depth uh 
thing for me. If I want to escape, I have to teleport. Kind of sucks. Thankfully, though, it doesn't look like to, there's that much here. It's not too bad. God damn it. Come on. There we go. But yeah, frozen yogurt? That is expensive. Half a kilo of frozen yogurt sets you back $13. Which is, uh... I mean, that's including the like the weight of the bowl and all that shit, too. But, like, wow. You wouldn't expect that to be that expensive, but it is. Scroll of Acquirement! We finally got a Scroll of Acquirement. I don't know if I want a weapon or an armor. Uh, let me think. So, armor could give us any manner of cool things. Uh, could give us, like, an actually good barding, for example. Could give us uh, gloves of archery, which would be nice. Um, plus we'll slay on all ranged attacks. If we get a bow, though, we could get a longbow of something good. But I think that at this point, I'm kind of happy with the way that my fire bow has been performing. I'm pretty okay with it. I think armor's... Like, now that I've said the possible good things I can get, I kind of... <sighs> Never mind. I, I don't know what happened, guys. Like, just... I read the scroll of requirement, nothing happened. I, I literally got, I got, I, I lost a scroll of requirement for no reason. I don't know what that was. It's weird. Wonder if the devs can like roll back the game for a bit. Oh, that's right. I have no fire resistance. Fuck me. This hurts. I'm going to go ahead and put the fire cold resist thing on. It's not as good as two slaying, but I need some fire resistance and also cold resist is pretty nice. I don't care about the int. I don't care about the strength. I don't care about any of that. I'm kind of not happy about the fact that I have to get corroded, but that's fine. I'll have to deal with it. Oh, it's the Enchantress. Oh, fuck me. Alright, lady. You're really going to do this to me, aren't you? What can I do here? I really have no agility. Do I seriously have no agility? That's fucking ridiculous. How do I have no agility? Did they remove agility? No, they didn't. I literally just don't have it. What the hell? Okay. Uh, this is very, very triple bad for me. I'm going to lamp a fire here and then just start shooting and hopefully she's going to die. I'm going to die. I am actually going to die. Holy shit. Okay, this is very bad. I can't teleport. Uh, I need to cancel and then haste to kind of escape and then teleport I guess I'm confused that's okay all right we do not have the damage necessary to kill the enchantress and we have no magic resistance and we have no escape now we're kind of cornered by her because this is death's one nice all right gotta use our, our thinking brain not the talking brain. We've got to use the thinking one today. Hmm. <coughs> so my plan there was to get the lamp of fire to do any damage at all. It did not, unfortunately. Which leads me to believe that her thing is fire resistant. Or I just didn't hit her properly. One of the two. Uh, I. What's most important is I get rid of that stupid like pack of spriggans around her. Which is like half of the reason why she's dangerous. The other half is because she's an asshole. And she's actually very dangerous alone. Magic resistance. Yeah! That's what I am talking about. You call the thing, the thing happens. That's the dungeon crawl stone suit that I know and love. You know what I mean? That's the RNG. I call for magic resist, I get magic resist. It's what I want, I got it. And it only cost me $375. So that's pretty good, I guess. Meanwhile, look at these arrows. Ah, shit. Okay, uh... Magic resistance. Go. Switch to... Alright, this is not helping me at all. Okay, I'm gonna have to teleport again. Fuck me! No! I just wanna kill the Spriggans, man. Let me kill the shitty ones. Don't make me fight the main one on her on my own. I mean, sorry, let me fight her on her own. So I at least have a chance. Come on. Make it a 1v1. Oh, 
Oh, I'm about to go food coma right now. I've been feeling a bit food coma -y for the last couple of minutes. I just haven't been saying anything, but uh, now I'm about to go full food coma. I still have to write my essay, and I still have to make a poster about it, and then do a 10 minute, 15 minute presentation. It's not a master thesis, but like it's not a, it's not even the equivalent, I don't know. I don't know what it is, it's just some capstone unit thing. Fuck, man, why do these guys hurt so fucking much? God damn it. Gosh darn it. Oh my god, she's fucking here again. Jesus Christ, alright. Alright, I'll, I'll cop it. I'll take her up, and then I'll, uh... Okay, if I have a vial of floods, I can... She, she'll miss her attacks, right? That's how that works. Oh my god, this is so good. Vial of floods, zero evo is amazing. Why can you see me? This is fucking bullshit. They know where I am when they're invisible and on water, but that's not how monsters work. Why is it that... Make it consistent fucking... Ugh, video game logic... Literally video game logic. Feels good, man. Why is it the player must be handicapped constantly? Well, we don't know either. Now she's literally immune to all forms of combat, apparently. There we go, we got her. Man, that was, that was a fucking battle. Holy shit, okay. Yeah, see, I thought it was fire resistant. 2917 is really good. That's actually insane. That's plus 5 evade for only minus 3 of dodge I'll take that shit hell yeah what am I some kind of like actually decently kitted out guy oh sprig and defender you almost want to be one me I like it hmm demon whip of electrocution wonder if that's better than the larger tank of water probably to be honest holy fucking shit I need to run oh and then now I want now I three shot him <laughs> Oh. You're really, you're really pissing me off, video game. You're really just, ooh, you're really making me upset. What the fuck? <laughs> the one with the quick blade lasted like 15 rounds. So I'm like, oh shit, teleport so I can live. The one with the, the demon whip dies in three shots and I only miss one. Like, gotta love that swingy RNG combat. It's good shit. Yum. No, not yum, in fact. The opposite of yum. Alright, I'm gonna leave the video here in case, uh, you know, future Demise wants to play more. Current Demise needs to go fucking study, and he's not going to, so... Fuck that guy, right? Um, but if you want to leave a like for tomorrow's Demise, then uh, maybe he'll get up tomorrow and think, Hey, doing alright. You know, I actually got back one of my marks for my exams that I was talking about. I thought I got 100%, didn't get 100%, was pretty pissed off. I got like 87, 88. Makes me wonder, how the hell did I lose that many marks? I swear to god I answered every question properly. I will probably have to go and ask them what the fuck I did wrong, because I don't remember any of that exam at all. So that's me, that's me for the next week. We'll see how things go. Anyway, that's it. Goodbye everyone, I'll talk to you tomorrow, maybe. Yeah, tomorrow we can do it. Day after that, mm, maybe not. Anyway, until then.